Okay, someone has asked me to see if I can repair this backlight that they had. Um, it's supposed to last for four to six hours and apparently it's only lasting 45 minutes. So, um, let's have a look and see what we can see. Um, it doesn't have any brand on it, so I'm assuming it's a cheap Chinese system. The charger says 8.4 volts, so it's probably um, two cells in series, uh, which looks like, just looks like two. There's a positive, plus, minus, plus minus, that'll be joined like that and then that will go off to the connector. So let's open it up and see. Now uh, to be honest I've actually already opened this to have a nosy and um, this is what I found. Uh, it was wrapped in heat shrink with cardboard on each end. It's completely unwaterproof. Cardboard, when I looked at the cardboard there was some um, some discoloration which suggests to me it's been out in the rain which does happen from time to time when you're riding a your bike. What we have is four 18650s, there's a, a VMS battery management board there with very little on it connected to um, across two cells. And then this is literally how I found it. There's a whole lot of rust here, a bit of rust over there. There's what could have been the remnants of strapping from here to here and strapping from here to here. Now what struck, strikes me about this setup is if there was a strap across here to here and here to here, then that's a unit. But there's no indication that these two batteries were at all connected to these two batteries, which is bizarre, um, but would certainly explain why it wasn't running for very long, um, because it's only got half the batteries connected up. Uh, so it's quite possible that these batteries are fine. These I wouldn't trust because they're rusted. Um, it's possible that these batteries are absolutely fine. Let's just quickly measure the voltage to see what the story is. So we have got... Um, it's going to be negative, positive to negative to positive. So that should be right, let's give ourselves a nice 8.2 so fully charged so those are possibly fine or just um, they're fully charged but they're probably a bit um, worn out possibly uh, what I plan to do is replace them with these, which are reasonably um, good capacity. They're um, 250 milliamp hours per cell, so that should be fine. Let us pull this BMS off and hook it all up. That, I uh, yeah. I'm being to throw that out. Right, so we're going to on and warming up. While I'm waiting for that, I'll hook these up. So, what I want is um, I want that. Let's put a bit of sellotape in one of those. Uh, 
Okay, that's good. So I'm going to have positive to negative, I'll join that to there. So positive to negative, positive to ne negative. And then I'm going to transfer this BMS over to here and we should be done. I'll just see if I can clear that away. And can I cut this loose without doing any damage? Yes, I can. And um, so before I forget what I'm doing, the BMS looks like that. That goes to There's my batteries. That end goes to there. B minus. B plus. That goes to there. That goes to there. Alright, easy peasy. That'll be okay. Right, so I want to join a bit of that. Okay, so a bit of flux on there. Better solve it there. Bit of solder there. It's done. Okay. Slip this under here. Um, probably not quite. Not quite. I'll have to Okay, so that's the B minus. B minus goes there, that goes there, and how much room do I have? Yep, it's just going to reach. 
Yeah, I could glue that in with hot glue gun. Or I'll just tape it down with some Kipton tape. And a bit more of that. Okay. So we'll do this end. Do this end first. It needs to be soldered to something there. Let's have a bit of flux. Okay. Then that goes there and that goes there. So this is the one I really have to be careful of because the negative terminal goes all the way up to and around the edge here. So that's the one I'm going to try and avoid shorting. That should work. See what we got. Try very hard not to short these. Six point six, which is what these batteries were at, because they were there we go. Six point six, yep. Okay, we need some Heat and I'll try and do a more waterproof heat shrink situation. There we go. Okay. If I give it heaps, it should be better. This is a piece of milk, a milk bottle. which should give it a better waterproofness. Okay, so which one did I use that, that one? Now I need about that much. I'll just plug the charger in to make sure that's all happy. I just measured the voltage coming out of the charger and it's 8.43 volts which is a wee bit over the 8.4 that it's supposed to be. Um, lithium batteries like to be charged up to uh, 4.2 volts each maximum and um, so 4.2, 4 4.21 and a bit is, kind of, is okay. Um, so here's the plan. Put that over there. What did I do with my other piece? I've lost it already. A uh, right piece of plastic on a right table. That goes on there. And then heat shrink it all together, it should be a lot more watertight and should be, and then I'll charge it up and we should be fine, should be good to go. So, 
So we've got to go, then heat shrink, everything in. that nicely and hold it down so that it solidifies cleanly that down and that down so that that solidifies nicely hold it in place so that it dries nice and firm and that should be a bit more waterproof and Put that in there. That goes like that. That should work a bit better now. So I will charge it up and come back in a couple of hours and see how it's going. I've been charging this for about eight hours now and it works quite nicely which is good I'll just check to see what voltage the cells are at 7.94 7.93 almost 8 volts so I'll run it for a few more hours but I think it is probably perfectly fine um, just for interest sake I charged up the cells that came out of the pack originally and they've all charged up nicely so I'll do a um, capacity test to see what kind of condition they're in. I'll do a discharge test on these cells to see what they're like. The battery fully charged overnight, so that's looking good. That's good. Uh, and these are the four cells that came out of his battery. And the capacity is 1200, 1200, 1000, 1000. So they're all pretty low. They're not completely dead, but they're pretty miserable. Um, so the ones that I replaced them with are two and a half thousand, two thousand five hundred milliamp hours each. So it should go a lot better now. We'll give it back to Sean, the owner, and uh, see what happens. Cheers.